guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. But here with you today, I am bringing over all kinds of goodies from the farm to the new farm. And I'm going to show you how to propagate elderberry, but I'm also doing other plants as well. So I'm going to take you and walk you through the process that you need to be doing right now to expand everything that you have. Some of you may choose to resell some of your plants or as my personal preference, gift them to people in need because everybody should be growing food in their lawns. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So today I literally went into our woods and I cut wild elderberry. It's growing wild on my farm. There are also some that I have cut and planted over the years. So I have them separate in separate buckets. So I went and cut these. I brought them immediately over and we are going to grow roots and make more elderberry for the farm. It is this simple. Now you're gonna take your cutting like so. I literally cut this about two hours ago. So you can see right here, here is the actual cutting and I'll show you some more from yesterday's um, little deal that we did. Um, you're gonna wanna cut them, I hope you can see this, at an angle. Do you see how that's at an angle? You're going to wanna cut them just like you do, let's say flowers, when you are cutting off the ends to make them last longer. You're going to want to cut your elderberry with having, like when it first started coming out this season, with three different growing nodes or stations you can see right here. So you've got the top and you've got one, two, and three. So you're simply going to cut at an angle. You can even see that I've got growth down here at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is simply this. You're going to need these items. First things first, you're going to need potting mix. Already had this in the back stock. Worked out great, I had several bags in my garage, so now I get to finally use them, gonna do that. You're gonna need a spray bottle with water for obvious purposes. You're gonna need a planter. I'm using red Solo cups, beautiful blue Solo cups, clear Solo cups. I'm gonna keep them separate in terms of what I'm putting where. You're also going to need probably a Sharpie. That would way you can write down exactly on the side what something is, especially if you have, like for me, I have two different varieties of grapes. They look the exact same right now, but I wanna keep them separate so I know what I'm growing. So you're definitely gonna need a Sharpie. So obviously you're gonna have your plants and I told you already how to cut them at an angle and you're gonna wanna have several growing stations or nodes or buds going at that time. This is what you need though, however, is this is awesome. You can get this at your garden stores or you can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link below. This is Garden Safe Take Root. Okay, so it's a rooting hormone, okay? So you're gonna be dipping your item where you have cut, you're cutting into this growth hormone because you want to help boost and start the process of roots and things growing after you place it into the soil. So this is simply all you do, watch this. First things first, have your planter, have it ready, have your soil in it. It's still loose, so it's gonna be easy to put in there. You can add to it. You're simply going to take your cut item. If it's already been cut for a couple of days and in water, you might wanna cut it again. You really want that to be fresh. All you have to do is to dip it into the growth hormone like so. Dip it, swirl it around a little bit, give it a little swirl, and then you're just gonna tap the sides just like so just like this, and then you're literally gonna put it into your red solo cup, red solo cup. Now, I'm going to then tamp this down, make it a little bit tighter, and I may add more soil, and I probably am gonna cut down some of the leaves on this. You can see over here, I didn't have that issue, they just went straight in, but this one's a little bit heavier, so you're gonna have to work with them individually, but this is literally all you do. So, I have it in here. I'm gonna take off some of the leaves. You probably could have done that before, but I want to get these out and get them going, make a call. I've got it right here into the soil. I'm simply going to literally just tighten it down. You know when you plant plants and you, put, you just tamp the soil down, just like so. If it's a little bit low, you might wanna add a little bit more, and this one is, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. After that, you simply want to moisten the soil, which that will help keep everything in place too, once you've firmed up the soil with the moisture. 
get it nice and moist. And you want to check this and make sure it stays moist. You might have to spray several times a day. I have found that this size needs about 20 to 30 good squirts of water. And there you go. That's how you're going to grow more wild elderberry. All right, guys, it's that simple. I have thornless blackberries. This is just the first round. We're starting with the elderberries. We have grapes, grapes, grapes. This is how we're gonna bring lots of goodies over to the new farm. We really like having a lot of these items on our farm. They're delicious. You can make homemade goods and they're good for your health, especially the elderberry. So get your hands on some. Hope you have a successful growth process with them and we'll see you on the next video.